I'm gonna let you guys know it's not a bad word, right? What is up, y'all? My name is Patricia. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is the first time you've ever tuned in to one of my videos, thank you for joining me. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to find a better angle so that this bright light is not shining into this car. Um, every once in a while, I come to you guys in my car. We have a little car conversation and we get real for just a moment. I share with you guys something that's on my heart or on my mind. So I hope you guys are well and good spirit and in good spirits whenever it is that this video meets you. Today, we're gonna talk about boundaries really quickly. If anybody's curious, I'm using the, hour, the new Hourglass Liquid Foundation. I did do a review on that, so check that out in the info uh, bar and also in um, the cards um, if you guys want to see my review and application of this foundation so today we're going to talk about bound boundaries and I just want to let you guys know just in case you didn't know that boundaries is not a bad word I recently read a article that was just like oh amazing every once in a while I fall on something that's actually good on Facebook and it is an article that was written by uh, Shelley R. Warren and it's uh, the title of the article is why you should be unapologetic about setting boundaries with toxic family members and that thing just stood out to me Ugh, it just stood out to me and resonated with me in a, in a very, very, very special way. Read the entire article. I will try to find it and link it down below. And in this article, Shelly said, boundaries is not a dirty word. It's not a bad word. It is not a curse word. Well, I think she specifically said it's not a bad word. But I'm, I'm at, you know, I'm putting 20s on 10s, okay? I'm gonna let you guys know it's not a bad word. It's not a dirty word. And you know how we like to say in dating that you treat you you teach people how to treat you um that even goes for friends and family members as well not just in the dating world you teach people how to treat you and i think um boundaries are so important and I, I think that you know you're able to choose your friends but you're not able to choose your family members sometimes the dynamics can be tricky sometimes they can be sticky sometimes you really have to isolate yourself because that person is so so toxic we even have to use this this boundary thing um sorry y'all i need to find some lip gloss to put on these lips because this is what, something dry this is the buxom buxom something or other and I'm about to put it on my lips we have to utilize boundaries even within our close um even with the within our family um I have friends that have you know poor relationships with a father or poor relationships with um a mother and they have literally had to put up boundaries with this person so that they are able to protect their peace some of us may not have toxic toxic relationships with our family members however we are now growing into our womanhood and our manhood and our adulthood and um we are creating uh new life for ourselves outside of I'm talking specifically about um, parents and aunts and uncles and grandparents whoever it is that raised you and um, sometimes it's difficult for us to make this transition from child to adult and to be viewed as such while we transition we also we have to set boundaries because sometimes we have to remind people in our lives that we are not children it may even be an older sibling okay i have been guilty of this you know i had to realize that my sister is a grown adult able to make her own decision she's not the same little alice that she used to be i have to respect her as an adult she grown she a grown married woman she grown so i have to respect her as an adult and that may be a difficult transition 
And in this transition, you have to teach people where the lines are. It's not a bad word, but specifically if they're toxic, you really need to no, you can't do this. No, you can't show up to my house wherever you want. Yes, you do have to call before you show up here or no, you can't speak to me that way. I'm not a child. I, I hear you. But this is what I'm deciding to do with my life. You have to teach people, and that goes for everyone, how to treat you. Otherwise, you'll be subject to whatever it is that they want you to do. You'll be subject to their expectations. You'll be subject to their toxicity because you have not taken you haven't taken ownership of your own life. But today, I want to tell you guys that boundaries. It's not a bad word. So set them up in your life. Teach people in your life how to treat you. That's it. That's the message for today. Thank you guys so much for joining um, and for watching. Let me know all your thoughts and comments down below as you guys usually do. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon in another video. And as always, God bless.